All right, guys, so the next eight videos are going to be extra three-phase calculations. So uh, if you already have a good handle on the Y and Delta calculations, then move on another eight videos. This was requested that I do a YouTube video on these additional uh, eight circuits right here. So we're going to do the same thing as we just did. So if you're good, please go ahead uh, to the... Um, to the, the circuits where we have the Y and, and the Delta resistive loads building up to the RL and the RLCs. Uh, but if you need a little bit more, uh, more help with these circuits, then uh, stick with me for the next eight videos. So this guy, this first one we're gonna do is a Delta to Delta. So let's open this guy up first. Uh, so this one, I've for some reason, I've grabbed this from somewhere and grabbed this uh, random 230 volts. Um, so, but let's rock through this one and let's see how fast we can get through it. I time myself uh, prior to doing this and it seemed like the fastest I could do one of these videos was um, seven minutes. So if I stop talking, then maybe we'll hit that. So the primary uh, doesn't make a difference whatsoever. We we're looking at the source. The source is the secondary of the transformer. For some reason, I've gone with this random 230 volts rather than 240 volts, uh, but let's go with it. So that guy is drawn as a line value. So our first thing that we can do is we can drop in our line voltage, which is given at 230 volts. Okay, that feeds this guy right here. So that is 230 volts on the line as well. Okay, and we know that for a delta, we know that V line is equal to V phase. So I hope after the eight videos that we've done so far, that is getting into your head. Um, so we know that our phase voltage on both of these guys is 230 volts. Okay, so that's our 230 volts on the phase and 230 volts on the phase here as well. Come on, buddy. So that is essentially step three because they are a mirror image. Mirror image meaning that the secondary is uh, is a delta and the the resistive load is the delta as well. So they're going to have the same line and phase values. Next step is to find our phase current. So we know that the voltage right here is 230 volts on the phase now. And we know that from the previous videos that all of these guys are 50 ohms, right? 50 ohms. 50 ohms and 50 ohms. So we have a balanced delta here. So the next thing we need to do is find our phase uh, current. Usually I've been doing that in red, so let's grab a red. Um, and that is essentially just Ohm's law. We have 230 volts on the phase. Uh, it looks like our resistive value is 50 ohms on the phase, right? So this guy is going right there. And if we do 230 divided by uh, 50, so let's do this, uh, 230 divided by 50, uh, that gives us 4.6. So we have 4.6 amps on the phase. And so that guy goes right here. And that is on the inside of the delta there. So we know that on the outside, our line current is root three higher. So the next step is to find our line current. That's gonna be 4.6 amps on the phase, we're gonna multiply that by root three and that'll give us the current on the outside of the circuit. So let's take our uh, 4.6 and we're gonna multiply it by the square root of three. And it gives us 7.967. Okay, that's our line value. So that value is right here. Okay, so now we found the line current, which is here, right? Because it's fed from the secondary of this transformer, 7.967 amps on the line. And we know that there's a mirror image, so the 4.6 that we have here will also be here. And so step six and step seven are just transferring those guys over. Uh, this is 7.967 amps. Okay, on the line, and on the phase, we have 4.6 amps on the phase. Beautiful, last thing we need to do is find the total power. Uh, let's do that in blue. And so we've been doing consistently V line times I line times root three, so let's do 230 volts on the line. Our line current is uh, 7.967 amps on the line. 
And we're going to multiply that by root 3. And so let's see, we got uh, 230. Easy now, 230. Okay, we're going to multiply that by 7.967 amps. Uh, we're going to multiply that by root 3. And that gives us 3173.827. Okay, and I'm going to put watts so we can see that this is VA, uh, but we've seen in the previous videos that all we have is just a resistive load. So that means that our watts is equal to our VA. Whoa, easy now. Okay, so we have 3173 wattage over here. Well, this guy is clearly feeding this load right here, so that'll be the exact same wattage there. All right, let's see how long it took us rocking through that guy. Six minutes. New record. Okay, so six minutes to get through each of these guys. We'll try and keep up the same pace, and we're going to keep rocking through the next uh, seven more examples. We'll see you in the next one, guys, for example number 10.